Hi, my name is Christopher Gutierrez, and I am the lead technician and art handler for Manzi Appraisers and Restoration in Boston. Today, I am working on the cleaning project of the portrait bust of President and General George Washington. One of the considerations as we're doing the cleaning is to first do an inspection that we use both with just the naked eye and with a black light to make sure that there aren't any cracks or fissures inside the marble, make sure that there hasn't been any previous repair work done, and it doesn't look like there has been, which is good news. Next will be a deep cleaning. Uh, the first wave was just to do a brief cleaning with a brush to get any big pieces of dust off of the sculpture. Then I'm going through with cloths and cotton swabs and doing the finer work of removing the dust from the small nooks and crannies of the sculpture. Finally, we're going to try an experimental method where we'll use some proprietary chemical treatments on the back of the marble. Worst case scenario is that the treatment does nothing and best case scenario is that it will lighten the tone of the marble back to its original state. If that is successful, then we'll treat the entire marble with this proprietary chemical treatment used by Manzi Appraisers and Restoration in order to give the entire tone of the sculpture a nice, clean, newer look. So the history of the statue is uh, in 1790, it was created by uh, Christian Golga, Danish-American uh, sculptor here in Boston. Christian Golga himself had painted George Washington in 1789 up in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Uh, in 1815, it was donated to the church by Shabayel Bell, a member of the congregation. So in 1824, when Marquis de Lafayette came to Boston on his American tour, uh, someone asked him uh, if this looked like George Washington and uh, he absolutely said yes that this is the man that he remembered. So this bust is, uh, is different than many that you see uh, around the country uh, and you can tell by the, the face, the, the expression, uh, the tiredness, the, the weariness of this sculpture. It was a more human, less of idealistic, less mythical, and more of a, a real true sense of what George Washington looked like. 